We believe in giving back all of our trendy clothes and wearing these striped t-shirts instead. It's plug number two, cue the ripped off theme music. Yeah, so plug number two, Brewdog Soho, filmed on the same day as the uberly successful plug number one, uh, the London Euston Tap. Beer and porn, two usually separate entities, Brewdog have combined them here. I absolutely love beer, but loathe pornography in all forms, mainly because my wife watches these videos, so I've got to be careful what I say. I was down in London for the day getting a visa, so that's hence why I was on my own. I don't usually go to the pub on my own. This was it initially after I arrived, it is literally empty and now was the first one in. I more or less arrived at midday as they opened the doors. There's something quite depressing about essentially waiting outside of a bar to be let in but as they open on your own. Merry Christmas. Another X-rated pornographic reference there, Hop and Triple X. I assume that's referring to the hops used to give beers their distinctive flavours rather than some sort of bizarre reference to the triple jump. So then, where to start? First up, I went for a... Pale Ale, small screen hero, 5%, but to be honest, could have drank this all day. £6.20, but you know, London, gotta pay the price. Beautiful, hazy, floral, citrusy beer. Look at that, the artistry in that shot. Magical. A bit of light reading for me while I was drinking. Found this Hop Propaganda magazine. Why they didn't call this Hopaganda, I've got no idea. Presumably that name must have already been taken. If it wasn't, Somebody in Brewdog marketing needs to have a long look at themselves. Plenty of interesting stuff in there. The Brewdog Manifesto for the next decade of dog. Continuing the craft revolution. Look at those mysterious, intense Scottish eyes. This was a beautiful, beautiful beer. There it is again. Just to prove I was actually drinking it. I'm not a fraud. I suppose that doesn't actually prove I drank it, does it? It just proves that some of the beer has disappeared. Could have poured it on the floor. You'll never know. Back to the hop propaganda, there's some interesting stuff in there about what Brewdog are doing with their money. £200,000 available for up and coming breweries to help them get started. It's one of the first breweries they're working with their dope and dank, trying to encourage more diversity in beer. Something that I'm all for. That's the melting pot, please. So there's your racist for you. So. Uh, second beer I went for, Vagabond, 4.5%, another pale ale, it's an interesting flavour, sort of pine, advertised as toffee, but I didn't get much toffee flavour at all, this one was clear, good carbonation, another really good beer, didn't enjoy it quite as much as the small screen hero, but enjoyed it nonetheless, so I didn't have a chance to stay long, but thoroughly enjoyable trip to Brewdog Soho, would recommend it, good beer, good bar, they didn't seem to mind me, Skulking around, sat on my own, filming things, looking a bit creepy. Up the brew dog. Long live craft beer for the people. 